Image. My name is André Rosa. I am from Brazil. I have been a trainee in 1996 uh, with another 16 other people. I had uh, at that time had my graduate course in uh, undergrad, sorry, and uh, two or three years of, of experience on breathing in Brazil. And uh, at that time, my English was kind of poor and uh, had no Spanish. Going to Simit, the first thing allowed me to, on that, those seven months I spent there, and I think it was crucial, uh, was perfecting Spanish, which I had almost none. That was quite easy since I speak Portuguese, but was also important. And uh, getting my English uh, perfected, so I went to uh, master and doctorate in the US and uh, uh, coming from Simit I spent two or three months in Brazil but uh, I think that uh, in my point of view was very important for me to open my mind to the rest of the world to realize in breathing that uh, I should not be looking in only in, into Brazil there are much more out there and without such experience it's very difficult for a person, normal person to realize that and uh, allowed me to know people in Simit and the events just like this one we are today in the international conference allow us to keep uh, tightening those relationships, I don't know how to, how to express, but to to get close to people again that we have, we, we concentrate on our work for a few years and then have this opportunity to open, but more specifically about that of course, the, the technical aspects that we learned there uh, were important. In, in the whole five years I spent in the US, maybe I didn't learn that much specifically for breathing. So that organized method uh, is very useful. But for me, I still think that the most useful was the language that I, I got uh, reinforced there and the relationships and opening the mind. Uh, more than the technical contents which uh, I somehow could get some other way. Mm -hmm. That's uh, my, my opinion, I think, and I hope the course continue for a long time in one way or another. It's going to be helping uh, the WIT community to the future. If the young graduate would ask you that he or she has the opportunity to go for a course to Mexico, is it worth to go? Why, why would you say, what, what would be the main reason for somebody who just graduated from university to go for the such a The main course? reason, for, for example, I would say to them, I would say, well, if you go there, I'm likely to hire you. If you don't, I'm not likely to hire you. I'm a, I'm a, uh, I owe a company today with my brother, and that would be decisive. If I, if I was to hire someone, I would like to hire someone that has passed that course. That's pretty simple. I don't think uh, I can say anything to the new graduate that would affect their decision more than that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is simply the true. If I am to hire a breeder, if they say, oh, I study on this and that university, okay, what's your experience in breeding? Then if I know they have passed there, now I understand why my advisor at that time, Dr. Warren Cronstadt, made sure that he wanted me to go to Kent, to Oregon to do a master's with him. But uh, he made sure that before I went that I passed through Simit because he knew that if I passed it through there I would be a better student, would help him more and would have a better uh, future. So I think the same way today after I have done and uh, I would like to send somebody there and if possible in the next few years if I'm not hiring one that came, at least if I can send one there uh, that is already hired, that would do the same.